Hey everybody, this is Grasshopper. Um, I haven't streamed in a long time. I've been like, I looked at back on my channel. It's been like three years. Um, kind of got into it and got out of it, and uh, want to get back into it again. Um, so I downloaded uh, OBS today, and you know, and here we are. Um, so today, I want to talk about Magic: The Gathering, um, where it's at right now, um, and the fire design philosophy. So let's talk about that. Um, so, okay, last year, um, War of the Spark came out, and there was an announcement um, about the fire design philosophy. This was this new um, approach that the design team was going to make towards um, the product, or towards the, the game. So, get, so cards are going to be more fun and exciting, you know, things like that, um, which is... You know, it sounds good, right? And um, I don't think any of us really knew exactly what that meant until, you know, where we are today. We, we kind of see what, ha you know, the, the end result of the fire design philosophy. So that that's what was said. Um, I'm not talking, I'm not talking exactly about the article. I'm not, I mean, some people have argued with me like, well, that's not what they said. And it's like, well, yeah, I, I wish the code says a lot of things. Um, what exactly is true you have to kind of discern for yourself I think um, so that's what they're saying is the intent of fire um, but what does it actually mean to the game and how does it actually affect the game those are the things I'm concerned with um, so let me give you a little bit of background I'm a uh, mostly a modern format magic player I like competitive play and I like modern I also like legacy so I like the non um, rotation 60 card formats you know and I'm sure as if you're a fan of magic you know what I'm talking about you know what modern legacy is I've played mostly modern and I've played a little bit of legacy um, I, I switched over to legacy I think during times when modern was struggling like when Modern was having problems with Oko and Amulet Titan. I tended to jump over and play Legacy, and you know, kind of get away, get a break from that, you know, because it was a different meta and didn't have those problems. Uh, I think Legacy absorbed Oko uh, better than Modern did, but that's kind of that's kind of up for debate too. I mean, there's some people that would disagree with me on that, and that's fair. Um, so anyway, so that's where I'm at. That's my experience. Um. And as, okay, so today, this is May 2020 when I'm making this video. This is May 2020. And right now, um, there's a world situation with um, air, a virus and local game stores are closed, as many of you know. And paper events are closed, are, are not happening, they're canceled until further notice. Um, so right now, um, a lot of us, like me, I'm playing in Magic Arena. You know, that's what I got. I'm playing, doing the play uh, magic. I played MTGO a little bit um, during this time, but I kind of got bored with it. Just to be honest, kind of, it's not my favorite. It's um, you know, you, you know the platform. I mean, some of y'all probably know the platform. It's um, it's not the most user friendly, and it's not the most relaxing when you're just trying to play. There's just so much clicking. And anyway, anyway, I'm, I digress. I've been on Arena. Um, I don't take Magic Arena too seriously. I mean, they've been pushing the power level. I don't think it's... I don't know if I'd say it's designed well. I mean, it's standard. Your card pool is limited. It's, um... You know, it is what it is. It's. I, I just take it kind of casually. I just, um... At the end of the day, I, I just, uh... Get on my laptop and uh, grind some matches out to earn some XP and make some progress on the Mastery Pass. That's it. You know, that's Arena for me. You know, um... But it's fun. I, I mean, I enjoy that for what it is. It, you know, it's not my favorite thing about Magic. I don't... Uh, but, and I wasn't... I like Arena as a way to train, maybe, or to get some practice in, keep your Magic skills up a little bit, maybe. But I really like Paper Magic. I like tabletop, in-person, Paper Magic, go to store, socializing with people, you know, things like that. So that that's my preferred way to play. Um, 
so that's where we're at. And um, so let's get back to the fire design philosophy. So they've cranked the power level up, and a lot of people are, are angry right now. I've seen um, like Rose Mark Rosewater got attacked on Twitter about it, so, and there's been a lot of talk about it. Like companions, that's the new thing in, in the Ikoria set, and people are mad. People are really mad about the power level. Um, not everyone's mad, but a lot of people are mad, and I get it. Um, so, I, mean, I get it in some respects. I, I, in some ways, I'm okay with the power level being higher or cranked up, like on Arena. Psh, I don't care. But when it works modern, yeah, that's annoying. Sure, I, and I, that, that frustrates me as well. But I'm not playing modern right now because of everything that's going on, stores being closed, you know, um, like I mentioned. So, um, we've. I don't quite understand Wizards of the Coast approach. Uh, they present this philosophy to us. They're like, oh, we're going to do this thing. And then everyone's like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds great. More powerful cards. Then there's, you know, we don't know what the result's going to be. And then now, I'd say especially modern fans and legacy fans and maybe vintage. I don't know many vintage people myself. But they're like, no, nah, no, nah, this is awful. It's making the format less diverse because everyone's playing Loris. Uh, looks like I get Loris up here. Yeah, there we go. So everyone's playing everyone's playing Loris now. So and uh, you feel like you have to have this companion in your deck to compete and and deck diversity's down. So no and people aren't necessarily super happy about it. Um, let me see if I can get the meta to well I'll leave Loris up there for a minute and just talk. Um, We'll get to the meta later. So, yeah, so so anyway, so the thing that I think the problem I see right now is there's a lack of communication between Wizards of the Coast and um, to the community. So, um, so Modern and Legacy are going to get warped going forward. I mean, so apparently every set, they're going to drop some you know, cards that are going to, you know, just shake up modern and legacy. And so you're, you're going to, you know, every three months you're going to have to change your strategy and maybe change decks. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I'm sure a lot of modern and legacy players aren't going to be happy about that. And that seems to be the end result. Um, and Wizards of the Coast isn't really, you know, telling us what the plan is or what they're going to do about it or what this means to the game or how long is the fire design philosophy going to go for um, you know things like that and what I'm seeing is the community's kind of taking control of the game themselves a little bit like um, on the modern subreddit some people are made a discord to um, play modern before War of the Spark before the fire design philosophy I think you know which is great they're like we like modern you know before 2019 so we're gonna you know play the modern that we love yeah I, I get it I totally understand that and so maybe that's what needs to happen I, my, my uh, solution I think or the solution I think that need, might need to happen is that modern and legacy and possibly vintage um, each community should be asked at least before this takes place they should ask the communities what do you want you know um, but they should no longer get cards from standard sets they should only get cards from supplemental sets like modern horizons you know sets designed for their format and the cards are specially crafted for the format and that should be the only way they get cards going forward so that stabilizes the meta you get to play the decks that you enjoy and that you invested money in and not have to worry about this constant, you know, shuffle, and the, you know. I think that's the solution. Um, and I think, uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast needs to ask the community what they want and present that idea possibly and say, hey, what do you think about this? Um, you know, I'm sure some people will disagree with me. They probably think, oh, you know, well, you know, that just that's too, too weird, or you know, that'll change. That's too much change. So um, I, I think that's a good idea myself. I think it's uh, 
I think that's a good idea to do to do the uh, stop point at the stop point, like maybe before War of the Spark. I'm, whatever, I'm fine with that. I like I like 2018 modern just fine. Um, it would bring back and then unban the cards like Faithless Looting. Maybe I mean maybe I don't know. I don't think it would do any harm. Um, um, and um, maybe keep Modern Horizons in. I, I, I don't know. I'd ask the community what they think about that. I'm not really certain about all that. Um, so I, mean, I think that's what needs to happen for them. As a fan, as a fan of Modern, I think that's what needs to happen. Um, now, um, one thing too. I mean, a lot of people have told me that Modern and Legacy players don't spend money on the game, and I disagree with that. Um, I don't think that's correct at all. I mean, yeah, they don't, they may not spend the most money. I mean, your standard players, your draft players, your commander players, uh, collectors, just your basic collectors, maybe they, may, they probably buy more sealed product than modern and legacy players. But modern and legacy players do not spend a non-zero amount. I, I, I know that for sure. I've seen modern players spend money um, on the game or buy sealed product. I bought sealed product. I mean, just for fun, you know. Who doesn't like the Who doesn't like to open a box of packs and you know crack some packs? So let me take this image down. There we go. Um, so yeah. Um, so if we don't spend money on the game, then why do we? I mean, I mean, and if the the fire design philosophy is not meant for us for as modern players, then you know why even risk it? Why even like? introduce new cards to our, our format through standard then if you're just gonna I mean to me I'm gonna call it Timmy land okay I mean right now arena is like to me it feels like Timmy land so um, it's I, I don't know if I'd say the strategies are that deep honestly I mean you got like cycling Garuda um, what else just red rush Embercleave and red rush Embercleave um, bat ramp I mean they're not you know, there's it's standard. You know, I mean, standards. You know, it's fun. It's fun. You know, but it's not the strategy's not as deep. I mean, I played Legacy and like it's pretty intense. I mean, you have to think about. Oh, you know, do I force the will this? Do I? You know, and then you're pondering and brainstorming, trying to figure out what, you know, what answers you need. It's. Uh, I think it's intense. I think it's pretty involved. It can be pretty intense. Um, and modern can be intense too. Modern can be. I mean, you know, depending on what you're playing. If you're playing like, uh, oh, KCI, KCI was pretty, that was a pretty intense deck before it was banned. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, some of those strategies are, you know, you got to have a big brain to run that stuff. It's not just, it doesn't just play itself. Those uh, those cards don't just play themselves um, and aren't, you know, I never played KCI. I didn't, I didn't think I had the, you know, the brain power to play that deck. Um, but, and uh, plus it, I was, I figured it'd probably get, um, you know, banned. But anyway, um, where was I going with this? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, well, standard's just, yeah, that's Timmy Land. It's, um, the cards aren't really, you know, not really modern, not really designed with modern in mind, I guess. Probably more with Arena in mind. So, just leave them out of modern and legacy. I think that's the solution. Um, some standard players would probably still be upset because they want the power level brought down, you know, a little bit. You know, I get it. I mean, you know, they're used to, like, the slow standard. And uh, and that's that makes sense to me. I mean, I mean, standard now is like um, you know sometimes it's like a turn four format right now with all the free mana and you know and big plays, um, and that's too fa that's kind of too fast. It's for some people who are fans of standard, and um, yeah, that's a you know that's a that's a valid problem. I, I, it's not something I'm worried about, but y y you know you know as a Magic player, you know there's standard and you probably have friends who are standard players and. You know they're probably um, not happy with the power level being what it is, and uh, so you know the fire philosophy might be bad in that respect. Um, I'm I'm for it. I just think it needs to stay out of modern legacy. But I think the fire design philosophy is good for standard, good for draft, and good for arena. It keeps uh, the game needs to stay exciting though. I mean I get where Watsy's coming from. Um, the game has to stay exciting. It has to compete with other uh, games now. I mean you got to compete with Hearthstone. Um, you got to compete with Legends of Runeterra now from Riot. That just came out. It's excellent. If you haven't played it, I've played it. It's uh, the client's really good. It's uh, it's fun. It's not. I don't think it's as deep as Magic the Gathering. You can't interact with the graveyard, those scries. Um, but 
it's it's pretty I mean it's got some deep level to it and some depth that's um anyway yeah so I mean they got these other games they gotta compete with now uh, you know in the digital realm and they still got games to compete with in the paper realm I mean they compete with I don't know board games I guess uh, on the tabletop and Dungeon Dragons well they, they own that never mind nah, I don't know why I said that uh but you know they they compete with uh, board games. Board games are board gaming's a big deal now. I mean a lot of people don't know, but they kind of had a re board games are kind of a big deal. Um, my friends play uh, like I can't play Commander. It's funny. I me mean, people will say to me, "Well, why don't you just play Commander?" And it's like um, it's harder for me to play Commander than it um, than it used to be uh, to play Modern. Um, my friends like I got one friend who plays Commander, but he can't play Commander either because he doesn't have friends. And we're trying to get our friends into it, but you know, there you go. I got to get them into it. And they play board games already, so they're probably like, "Well, I'd rather just play this board game." Uh, and I can respect that. And it's kind of harder. I mean, Commander's kind of like it's hard to get five people together to play uh, a game of Commander. Like with Modern, I used to just I could just go down to the game store and you know take my deck and then you know and just and is go to uh, sign up for the event and play you know no big deal and um the, the other thing too is um commander is uh, it's another format i don't think commander is the same thing i think i, I kind of get annoyed when people say well just play commander and it's like that's not it's not even the same thing it's a it's multiplayer it's political uh turns take longer i mean it's apples and oranges you know it's not even the same thing um i but anyway um, I'm digressing a little bit, but uh, and probably the power level. Um, I mean, the power level with the fire philosophy is probably fine for Commander, I guess. I mean, Commander's got it's got a lot of broken stuff in it already. They pre-banned Lutri, uh, which I thought was weird. I don't, I don't know. So I think sometimes people take Commander too seriously. I mean, you got competitive Commander though, and you got casual. So there's you know there's there's like two sides to Commander. Um, I think it's kind of weird though when they ban things. It's just like it's you know, I guess some things are too strong for it. Um, but anyway, so that's the um, that's where we're at with fire. This is um, in 2020. That's the situation. Um, Modern and uh, Legacy seem to be always in flux now. So that that seems to be the way of things now. Uh, it seems to me like cards are being designed for arena. Uh, you know, some people. I don't think I don't think many people will deny that. I think you know. I, don't, I think most people realize that now. They're like, oh, these cards are just designed for arena, or and it feels very much like they are copying some game, some cards for um, like from Hearthstone. You know, uh, Massacre Girl. That looked like a card. You you remember the card Massacre Girl? Um, I think it was in. I think she was in War of the Spark. And, um, I mean, that card was like something straight out of uh, Hearthstone, where it kills all, everything on the board. Um, Anyway, that was yeah. It seemed very much like a Hearthstone card, and I'm not the only one who said that. I remember people saying, you know, that's just like this Hearthstone card. Um, and then we got companions, which are um, similar with the deck restrictions, which is similar to some stuff that's been done in Hearthstone. But it's also makes every game like Commander, and this is the year of Commander, so they're really pushing the whole Commander thing. Um, but so anyway, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Um, what you think about the fire design philosophy? Is it a good thing for modern? Is it a good thing for the game? Is it um, good for standard even? I mean, you know, maybe it's just some standard players out there want to chime in. That's cool. Um, is it good for arena even? I mean, uh, I, you know, what you, tell me what you think. Um, let me see. I will show you what I'm playing right now at to end this to end this video. Um, what I show you what I've been up to. Um, let me get this down here. Close this out. There's bring up arena. So this is my deck. I'm playing um, this uh, reanimator deck. It's a green black reanimator. Uh, I found this deck. Uh, Legend VD uh, made this. Um, so basically, you have like your big creatures you're trying to pull cheat out from the graveyard. So you got this guy. This is the, this is the, the the main one. So you get. You cheat him out using a preferably Bond of Revival. And there's a little bit of removal, like Murder Strider, Heartless Act, 
and uh, yeah, Vraska, she's some removal and extinction event, which is can be very strong sometimes. That really, s I've had people just quit after playing extinction event on them. And then there's uh, ramp, uh, and this guy, and this guy fills your graveyard. He's ramp plus he fills the graveyard, and I really like that card. So this reminds me, I used to, I played Legacy Reanimator a little bit, and it reminds me of that. I'll bring up, uh, so if you're not familiar with Legacy Reanimator, um, it, it cheats out this guy, um, Crystal Brand. Let me see, yeah, he came up. So he, it brings him out. Um, so anyway, so that's what happens in Legacy Reanimator. And you see that right there. Um, oh, I didn't bring up the meta. So let's before I get off of here, let me see if I'm bringing up the meta. So there's the meta. That's what we're, um, that's what it is right now. And you can see there's like how many decks are there? There's there's uh, Loris. Yeah, Loris is in the burn deck now. Loris is in John. Loris is in. Uh, I don't know some blue black deck and devoted. I mean, it's 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 in a lot of decks. And then you got Obosh, which is another com companion in a grill a green red deck. So yeah, so Loris is like. Let me bring up the webcam again. And so we got Loris. So so this is where we're at. Companions. Um, tell me in the comments what you think about companions. I um. I like companions okay. I'm not big on playing them. Like you saw, I'm playing a green black reanimator. But uh, I, I tried to play with Lutri a little bit. I thought the whole one spell thing uh, was kind of cool with Lutri. I couldn't really figure out what the, you know, what the build around Lutri. And then I, then I kind of thought maybe maybe he's just for commander, but he's banned. I, I don't know. You know, maybe you can tell me what Lutri's for. I tried to play around with Lutri. Just for heck, just for the fun of it, it looked like something. Just experimenting. I have, I have fun just experimenting with brews. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye.